Today we take a look at wise commands and how to make your own command add-ons. Let's go. In wise, most of the actions in the menus are commands. Also in context menu, there's commands listed there. Commands are listed under the keyboard shortcut and commands menu, which opens the list of commands. This list shows all the commands built into WISE. Today, we'll learn about how to create new command add-ons. Under the Create menu, there's three options. The first option is about creating command add-ons on the installation folder. This can be useful if you want to share um, commands across your different projects. Then there's the create in the project folder, which is useful to share your commands with your team if you are distributing your project under source control. And the last option is to create the command add-ons under the user folder, which can be useful if you want to have your commands uh, for several different projects. So for this example, we'll be using the create in project folder. So then we are prompted to create a JSON file for our uh, command add-ons. So let's name our command uh, definition file, personal, um, and save. This will automatically create a new command definition file. For this example, we will delete the content and take a look at the documentation for the command add-ons. So right now I'm looking at the online documentation for defining command add-ons. And under this page, there's a list of all the different uh, fields that can be used to define command. Also, a list of all the different variables that can be used in the fields. And for this example, we will be using this sample from the documentation, which allows us to open work unit file with Visual Studio Code. So let's format this. So let's go through this sample and see how, how it works. So the first thing we see here is the ID of our command. Uh, this ID must be unique across all the different commands. So it is recommended to put um, the name of your name or and also an ID, uh, an ID that uh, specify the command. The display name is being used to display in wise. The default shortcut is being used as the default one, which can be overridden in the keyboard shortcut dialog. The program field here defines which program to run when the command is launched. So this can be, uh, for example, a path to uh, a program on your computer. And don't forget that on JSON file backslash characters need to be escaped. So we will go back to our uh, code uh, program. So uh, Visual Studio Code uh, as a code batch file uh, available in the path. Uh, so we can just trigger this. This is uh, enough. So as an argument to code, we will be passing the file path of the current selection. File path is actually the work unit file in this case. Uh, here we have a list of uh, menus. So the first one is the context menu, which define a sub menu for our context menu, also a list of different object types for which we will be uh, we will make our command available and we will add the work unit also. So main menu defines uh, a main menu in wise. So let's save this. So we will go back in wise and now we will hit the reload button. So the reload button reads all the command definition file found under the three locations. And after this, we should be able to find our 
uh, Visual Studio Code command registered. So let's go. So from this point, we should be able to see our command here. Also listed here. So let's try to see if it works. So, so now we have our work unit open in Visual Studio Code. So let's close this work unit. And let's see how it behaves, uh, for example, if you have uh, a, an error in your JSON file. So let's remove the last character of the file, which makes an invalid JSON file. So go back to wise. And now to trigger our command, instead of going to the menu, um, we will uh, trigger the, re the reload command. So the greater symbol in the search can be used to enumerate all the commands found in WISE. So, uh, and we can type, um, for example, code. Uh, our, com our command is still there because we still haven't reloaded our command. So let's reload the commands. And, and now if we go here under the log, we would see command manager invalid command add-on. So there's an error in the actual command could not read JSON file. So let's fix that by putting back our character, saving, and then reload again. So this time we have no error. So let's try to see if our command is now available. Yes, it is. So we've learned how to create command add-ons command add-ons are useful to customize your workflow. So thank you for watching.